This weekend, we're celebrating a great man, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. My family and I are in Breckenridge. We are at a ski lodge. My family is relaxing right now. We're about to go out, enjoy the snow with our kids. They're getting ready. But let me walk outside because I want to talk to you about what this means to me and what I think it could mean to a lot of people. I'm going to walk outside. Since as I'm talking to you, my family is trying to get dressed. Standing outside, it's starting to snow a little bit here. Now, I was born in Jamaica, came to the United States with $47 in my pocket. At the time I came here in 1984, the government of Jamaica would only allow you to get out of the country with $50. I couldn't even make that limit. And now I'm here in Breckenridge. It's snowing. We've rented this beautiful ski lodge. But it's not about that. It's about what it means to celebrate a great man and what it means as a black man to be able to understand the sacrifices that were made for me. But it was made for everyone. This world is better because of him. It's equality for everyone. It's not equality for just one race. It's equality for everyone. That's what he talked about. He talked about peace. He talks about how everyone needs to get, get along. The dream. Black and white people in all colors getting together. Making this world a better place. That's the memory for me. And so I'm going to celebrate. Here's my son, Kingston. Can you wave hi? Hi. Here's my son there. You know, so snow everywhere. There was a time where I could not be here in Breckenridge, afford to have a, a ski lodge like this with my family, even afford financially to be able to do it. So for all those who sacrificed before Dr. King and since then, I am joining your fight. I believe in what you've done. One of my heroes is Marcus Garvey. And he also stands for the same thing. He stands for empowerment of the individual, economic empowerment. And I believe that's the new fight. There was a time when Dr. King had to fight for basic right. Today, it's about economic e empowerment. That's what I believe. Every person in this world deserves to have the ability to have financial freedom, to be able to go where they want and to enjoy God's great riches. But without the economics, how do you do that? I grew up so poor that I could never have dreamt of having the ability to do this. I want every single person out there, whether you're poor or rich, to have the ability to live in a free society, to have the ability to celebrate every day, to be safe, and to give back to people, to help other people, lift them up. And if you have the ability, like I do, through your voice, through your actions, and through your economic success, give back to people. Make a change. Whatever the platform may be, it may be quietly on your own, it may be through philanthropy, it may be joining a political movement because that's one of the greatest ways to have changes, or it may be investing in other people. So I feel very strongly about this. I'm very blessed to be able to be here and celebrating it this weekend. And I'm celebrating with a lot of people. I'm going to enjoy my time here. I'm going to also reflect on a great man and all the people who work with him to make this possible for me to be here enjoying myself in this beautiful place, this beautiful earth.